Hi, welcome to another Lawn Fawn Cards video. Um, today I'm going to be doing part one of my Quick Cut Silhouettes Basics. As you can see right now, I'm in all programs. Um, here, this is a PC, and I'm going into Craft Robo and then to Robo Master, um, which is an awesome name, Robo Master, um, is all I can think of when I see that. And right now I'm just waiting for the program to open. Now you can see that pretty little quick cut silhouette logo and um, the program is open as you can see at the beginning it's got this kind of very gray um, blank like nothing's going on you can't click on anything well what you need to do is go up into the upper left hand corner and click a new file and what you want it to say is letter and portrait because that's how it feeds into your silhouette machine so once you click that now everything is um, bright and active the red line that you see going around is your active area for cutting um, so that way you know not to go off of that and you won't have it not cut off your mat um, so anyways uh, so that's that right there um, and this is your kind of your palette to work with now one of the first things I want to show you is just something you should do at the very beginning um, is just to make sure you're going to click um, output settings and make sure Sure that under Craft Robo it says Graph Tech, Craft Robo on USB like 001 I think is what it says. Um, it's just one of those first things you have to do. If you've already been using your silhouette, you don't need to do it. It's just to make sure it sends the information to the right place. On mine, I had to set it up. Um, on I, I'm at my machine, I must have bought a really old version. I had an old CD of it, so. Um, I, you know, I had to do a lot of kind of upgrading and stuff to it at the time. Um, so anyways, here um, I just opened up my library. It's uh, at the very bottom there of that list on the left hand side. And these are all the things uh, that the Quick Cuts actually comes with. There's a few that I've bought, but it comes with a lot of images for free at the beginning. And what you do is you uh, you select the object on that button and you can see you get this like giant image. Well, you don't have to actually um, you know, use that giant image. At the bottom right hand corner it tells you the inches and size of what you want. So say you want it to be two inches, you kind of look at that bottom right hand corner and uh, you you kind of click and drag from the corners to resize your image if you go from the top of the size you're gonna smush your image so unless you wanted that look you don't you don't want to do that you want to go from the corners um, so right now I just open up my library again and I want to take another file um, because what's cool about this is you can actually set up if you wanted to cut a whole eight and a half by eleven piece of paper cardstock out at once you can actually cut a whole bunch of images um, and put them on here so right now I'm just kind of resizing I'm just showing you how you can get uh, bigger size etc um, and then right now I'm going into my library again and scanning through my objects and I'm picking um, a file I actually bought I bought it for um, uh, some invitations that I made and uh, it's this really cool palm tree and right now I'm just going to resize it because um, it's a little bit big but I want to show you how you can utilize your space as much as possible within this quick cut silhouette software right now what I just did was I did control C for copy and then control V for paste and um, when you uh, paste it and you right click it the new object you can actually rotate it by an angle so I'm going to rotate it by 180 degrees and you're going to see it flips it upside down and now I can kind of sandwich it in right there um, into uh, the other palm tree and it saves so much space. So I just fast forwarded there and showed you how I could keep doing that. You just copy paste over and make that cool thing. So the next thing I'm going to click is purchase online and it's the, um, the, the, the bottom most button on the left hand side and when you click that you have to wait a little bit but then the silhouette online store pops up and it has some of the uh, um, favorite ones, the most recently added, because there's they add new ones every month, I think. Um, and right there um, is the search by name or keyword. I really like this function. You can search by theme and stuff, but there's so many that um, I just typed in the word bird because I love birds, and um, all the bird images pop up. Now, what's really cool is uh, the software it coordinates with what's on your computer. It tells you if you own something, so you don't buy it again by mistake. So right there it says I own it, I own it, um, which is really cool. So, um, anyways, I just typed up in the top in the search dandelion I wanted to search something even more specific and I got um, you know four options here and I really like that first one but I want to see it in closer detail so I click on the picture and it gives me this big image of it actually even sometimes it'll give you a project using it it also gives you other options of you know stuff other stuff you may like kind of thing um, and you might see something you like it's kind of dangerous um, so I just clicked add to my cart and as you can see on the bottom uh, left hand corner there it's now in that in my cart which is the little 
little picture there showing up. So if I click that, my cart down there on the bottom left hand, it shows the cart and I just clicked um, that I wanted to buy and I actually already have my credit card put in. When you first set this up, it'll have you set up an account with your credit card and your name and a password which I just typed in. And um, and right there, uh, you can see that I just bought the image. And what it's doing is it's actually downloading it into my library, which I was clicking on earlier. So you kind of have to wait for it to go. It's going kind of slow. And um, you can see on the bottom uh, left-hand corner there, it says downloading. Um, and you wait for that. And um, when it's done, my library actually pops up. So um, right now, we're just scrolling through. And it's right there at the bottom. Um, it goes by alphabetic order. That one, It was called Vinyl Art, so it was at the bottom of it and right now I'm like oh gosh it doesn't really fit in my little cutting system that I did so why don't I rotate again so um, I'm gonna rotate it again and this time by 90 degrees um, and so I can fit it up in this corner and utilize my space um, just to, to the most possible which is really cool um, some of the other things you can do you can see on the left hand side is make circles there's some two really big circles um, delete that giant one um, you can also um, do text so you can choose a font type in at the bottom there what you want and um, you know choose whichever font you like right there and uh, as you can see there's um, you know a hello right there so um, you know you can it, it, there's all sorts of different things you can do that we could go into further um, I just wanted to show just the minimum basics or you'd be listening and be talk for hours um, but right now um, I just pressed the craft robo button to cut and it gives you a warning if your machine isn't plugged in or isn't on so you have to make sure the USB is plugged in and your machine was on my uh, mine wasn't on so it's, oops okay turned it on um, and then I can press OK um, this is just an error thing that comes on my it's took my computer for work and it kind of freaks out so ignore that stuff there that shouldn't happen on your computer um, it's just my computer for work doesn't like me using this on it um, so uh, right now I want to show you the settings for your craft robo um, if I were you if you're gonna be cutting from cardstock like I am like Nina paper paper tray ink um, you're gonna want to choose um, index 90 pounds um, there's other options vinyl all these different media options that you can choose and you want to test your own quick cut silhouette right there you can see it's like a pinkish red tip you want to make sure that that's the cutting tip that's been put into your silhouette also um, the other thing it has is when you first open it a lot of times this um, operation guide is open as you can see you can't cut when it's open so if you hide the guide then that's when you can finally cut um, so right here I would normally press the cut button but I don't actually want to cut these things out um, so when you press cut it sends it to the machine and it starts making it its annoying noise and doing its whole thing um, and uh, anyway so that's it and and right here I'm just going through my library again and I'm just going to show you one of the other um, new things that I bought this little bird that member had told me that I already owned it when I searched for birds and then what you can do is when you highlight an object and you press delete on your keyboard it gets rid of them so if I didn't want those palm trees I didn't want that flower now I have space for this really cool um, birdcage. Um, so you can kind of, you can do all these sorts of things, anything you would like. There's so much more to this, but this is just the beginning. Um, and it, it's just really cool. Um, and right then, when you close out of the program, it's going to ask if you want to save your changes. You could save your file if like it was something you really like, like you can make an alphabet sheet. I didn't want to save it, so I said no. Then I'm going to close out of my library, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Hi, again, uh, P.S. here. Um, I just want to let you know that was a PC I was working on. I'm actually a Mac person, I'm kind of a diehard Mac person. Um, but that silhouette for Silhouette Quick Cut software only works on a PC. It doesn't work on a Mac. Now, you can use your Mac with your silhouette um, with using a plugin with Adobe Illustrator. And I'll show you guys that um, hopefully in the next video. But I really do like that software that works on the PC. And I know most people have PCs. So um, I wanted to show you that software first because it really is great and integrated with the store and you can't buy those cool designs on the Mac either so it is really it is nice to have that PC option um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that and um, also to let you know to make sure to go to the quick cuts website quickcuts.com and look at the silhouette and get your um, updates for your software they put out updates every once in a while so you want to make sure that you're doing um, your updates so that your software looks as great as it can thank you again